Owning their infantry skills ahead of a vital mission. Around 350 soldiers from Three Scots are taking part in this training camp to ensure they're ready for their role in NATO's Very High Readiness Joint Task Force. The soldiers are taking part in company attack drills to ensure they're sharp and ready when it comes to joining the task force. It's tough, you know, there's a lot, a lot of moving parts, you know, you've got to be on the ball, everyone's got to know what they're going to do, when they've got to do it, uh, especially section commanders, two ICs, uh, you know, the chain of command, working well together, getting it all the way down to the boots on the ground, know where I'm going. They'll join units from other allies in ensuring any threats to the Alliance's borders or any emergency can be met with a swift military response. Roger, stop! There they go! The unit has been in War Corp training camp on exercises day and night for the past two weeks, sharpening marksmanship and tactical movement on daily live ammunition shoots. Apart from the obvious uh, like safety aspect, when you introduce live rounds, I think it just brings an edge to the training where the guys need to be on point and accurate with their shooting and they can't be just waving their weapon anywhere and they've got to be make sure the PID and targets will identify targets and where they're aiming is where their round's going. The battalion is also training with mounted heavy machine guns which provide fire support. The Black Watch was deployed on Operation Shader to provide support to security forces in Iraq last year and the unit is happy to be back in training for its next mission. It's good to be ready for war fighting, ready for our core job. We do all sorts of missions and all sorts of tasks all over the world, um, but actually being able to come back to what is our core business and train for it, uh, it feels good to be at that, um, at that level of training. Three Scots will continue training day and night in Cumbria for another week. They'll then head to Salisbury Plain and continue their preparation on Exercise Wessex Storm before taking on their NATO role in the new year.